The Hellfire missile, launched from helicopters, jets, or Predator drones, has been a critical weapon in the war on terror. But the propellant that fires the missile must be imported from China. It's not the only area where the Pentagon depends on imports. The glass in U.S.-made night vision goggles requires a soft, white-colored metal called lanthanum, 90 percent of which comes from China. We need to onshore our critical defense supply chains. Retired Army General John Adams is the author of this new report, which lists 14 categories where the military relies on imported minerals or technologies. Some of those supplies, Adams says, could be stopped during a conflict. We need to make sure that our most advanced and our most critical weapon systems don't depend upon our strategic competitor to supply those components to us. A Pentagon spokesman tells CBS News by email the military has a process to determine where U.S. sourced components are necessary for security reasons, but where they are not, the statement says, the U.S. taxpayer expects cost-effective procurement, including sourcing from foreign companies. But the Pentagon has grown concerned over Chinese imports. During a diplomatic clash between China and Japan over a disputed island chain, China stopped exports of rare minerals that Japan needed for manufacturing. CBS News national security analyst Juan Zarate. So we've already seen glimmers of where a country like China decides to use the supply chain and its economic muscle for diplomatic and geopolitical purposes. Pentagon officials say they have already addressed two of the areas identified in that report. Officials have ordered uh, the Pentagon to purchase more domestically produced minerals for use in night vision goggles, and they have invested in a new domestic supplier to make propellant for the Hellfire missile. Jim? White Andrews in Washington. Thank you.